Welcome back to a new episode about the post super global. I could have done the post and get super global in one video, but I want to go a little bit more in depth, so I decided to separate them in two videos. So the post super global is a variable used to collect data from the HTML form after submitting it. So let me add it as a comment. Collect data from the HTML form and it's invisible. So when a form uses the post method to transfer data, so let's say that you want to submit a contact form on your website and the method is equal to post, the data will not be visible for others. For the first time in this course, I want to work outside of my PHP tags. So let's create a form. And inside our form, I want two input fields. I want to create an input field with a type equal to text and a name equal to name. And I want another input field with a type is equal to text as well and the name is equal to H. I also want to create a button. And the button has a type which is equal to submit because we need to submit the form. And inside my button tags, I want to type submit. Our form needs to ha have an action. And the action is equal to where you want to send it to whenever the button is clicked. Well, we want to send it to post.php. And we also have a method, and the method is equal to post. So let's save it, change my URL to post.php, and you can see that we have a button and two input fields. So let's input our name and age. My name is Dari, and my age is 24. Let's submit it, and you can see that nothing is happening in the URL. Now, you never know if it's worked or not, so let's create PHP text outside of our form. Well, we can go at the top as well. And let's create an if statement, because we want to echo out something if the submit button works. Our condition in the if statement needs to be a function that you haven't heard before, and that is the isSet function. And the isSet function is used to check whether a variable is set or not and the name makes pretty much sense. So let's write down is set. Well, I've already did that. And since is set is a function, we need to add parentheses. And we also need to add a parameter. And the parameter that we want to pass in is the post super global. So dollar sign underscore post. Since we passed the name inside our input tags, so we set the first input to name and the second to age we can use them inside our if statement. So let's say that we want to echo out the super global post, followed by brackets, and inside our brackets, we want to echo out the name. And we want to concatenate it from a piece of text, and we want to say, your form is submitted. Let's fill in our fields. So let's say Dari, and the second one is 24, and let's submit it. Now, you can see that our form is submitted because my post name is passed through the form. Now, I've told you that a post super global is an array. So let me show you what I mean with that. Let's go right under our if statement and write down print underscore r and let's pass in our super global post. Let's save it. Refresh the browser. Well, let me add a break as well. Let's save it, refresh the browser again, and you can see that an array is passed with my name, which is equal to Dari, and my age, which is equal to 24. And the age is the name of our input field. Its name and age is equal to 24. This was it for this episode. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.